A quick update, quick update. We've barreled ahead. We've stripped off all the bolts and everything off the old timing case. Got the new timing case going in. That's there just in case vampires come. We've got some stakes to protect us. But then we've uh, about to put the new case on now. And as you can see, progress. We spray that piece of the motor black because we can't get in there. We don't want to spray this case. We probably will, but let's see. Oh no, you're smiling? Not yet. Not yet. Almost smiling. They keep you guys close. That goes on the back there. And the small hole. On oh, no, is under there pulling off the sum. Maybe you should get the new timing case on. So we have Arno now. He's a professional cam installer for Cummins. He's busy installing the cam back in the Cummins. Anything with a bit of lube. Everything went successfully with the camshafts. Like I say, I'm sure Anna's been building Cummins in his private time because he just did that way too easily, like he's done it before. For an auto electrician, I'm impressed. 10 out of 10. So, there as you can check now, push rods are back in. We're going to, Anna's going to do the gasket for that. I'm going to put the rocker arms back on and then keep you be around here. the 
rocker bolts now. These small ones, 25 Newton meters. Then the big ones, I've got some uh, specs from my buddy Kurt up in uh, Joburg. And the big ones, you do those 75, then 100, then 120, and then a 90 degree turn. And that's Newton meters, eh? Because that's what we work in. We don't work in freedoms per eagle here in South Africa. Cleaning the sump gasket. How's it going there, Arno? Ah, it's alright. It's quite uh, oily. Oily and uh, smelly, and uh, some pussy cats walking around here, so you know what that means. Oh. Why would you want to do that always oh. to yourself? All right, before we close this thing up now, I'm gonna make a bracket there to cover the killer dolphin. Because obviously we assume that's what happened to this one, if you remember the last time in case it was cracked. Like that there. And then yesterday inside the sump, we found these little pieces here. I don't know, that looks like, almost like brake line. But this thing here, you can definitely see it got chewed up by the gear. And there was another one like that in the bottom of the timing case when it came off. So definitely, that Dalpin obviously came out, or some Dalpin came out at some point, and all hell broke loose, but it's since then been repaired. And now we've changed the timing case cover with a new one. Arno's busy doing the sun gasket still. He's just enjoying lying on his back for the day. And then yes, there we go. Killer Dalpin is basically there. What I'm gonna do is I've got this carburetor bracket here. I'm gonna cut this here, drill a hole, Get that in there like that, and it will hold the Dalpin in. A Dalpin cover. It's a little short, but it'll do the job. Let's have a look at the sump. P pump is sprayed, cleaned. Sump has been cleaned, ready. Needs a new gasket. It's got a couple of dents in, but we don't want to risk it. Alright, so got the P pump in. Busy connecting the fuel lines of the P pump now. Dexter level surgery. It's quite a shot, you with the swinging chains and the gloves. Got the engine mounting back on. Got the P pump gear back on. Got the P pump back on. Busy painting the top valve covers quickly. Side done. Progress. She's off the crane, resting on her own again.
power steering pump back on. Moving over to now the water pump. Gonna put a new gasket on that, clean up the gasket surface over there. Stick on the new water pump. Well, not the new water pump, the old water pump, but it's still good. So I'm gonna stick that on and I'll bring it back and show you the next thing. Call me a